floated from Harmony into the uh, Japanese pressurized module, the main module of the uh, Kibo complex. That at the uh, forward end of the space station. This camera view is at the forward end of the Destiny Laboratory looking aft. And the oncoming station commander, Mike Fink, is uh, now on the space station for uh, his second tour of duty is just uh, floated through from the unity node through uh, through harmony and now we're in the uh, unity node looking forward through the uh, destiny laboratory and uh, in the far distance mike fink in node two in harmony and he's uh, looking through the hatch on the port side into kibo where uh, Shamatov is at work currently. The European Space Agency's Columbus Laboratory is located directly behind Fink now through a hatch and the uh, starboard side of Node 2. You do the transfer as is written, and from here we will change your further activity actions at uh, 1423.10. That's, that's the one we need to change. Oleg, what do you mean 2110? Well, you have two transfers today for Bio 4 RLD and Bio 4 RLD. That was uh, move one and move two. Right? Yes, yes. Yes. So the first move you do per form 24 is scheduled at 1825. <laughs> ISS, do you hear us on, on Spectrogram 1? Yeah, I've got you loud and clear. Okay. Last thing that uh, they said is uh, first, the first transfer is at 18.05, just like you had it before, first relocation, as is written in Form 24. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Are you talking about... Hold on. Are you talking about item 842, the first re relocation? That's correct. And so look at um, page 84, and on the left side, it says four hours after the activation of the centrifuge. So that looks like we're following the schedule very closely here. Okay. So the first relocation is at 18.05, and the second relocation looks like it's at 21.05, correct? Well, right now it stands at 21.10, and let's change that because this was done. We're listening to some uh, conversation between the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryolov and uh, flight engineer Alek Kononenko on board the International Space Station discussing the uh, transfer of some experiment samples for experiments inside the Russian section of the space station. Uh, just under 10 minutes from now, another transfer that's scheduled to take place will be the transfer of the Soyuz seat liners. The one for Greg Shamatov and the one for Richard Garriott will be swapped between the two Soyuz vehicles, a exchange which will uh, technically then make Shamatov a member of the Expedition 18 crew. This is uh, Shamatov here with his back to the camera, wearing the NASA 50th anniversary logo T-shirt. And uh, at the forward end of the Harmony node, the Expedition 18 commander, Mike Fink, who will be uh, assuming command of the International Space Station next week from uh, Sergei Volkov. What about the third relocation? Thank you, Oleg. And the third relocation... For both uh, Fink and uh, his Expedition 18 colleague, Yuri Lonchikov, this is... Uh, not their first trip to the International Space Station. We'll uh, take the opportunity now to uh, introduce you to the two crew members whom Greg Shamatov will soon be joining as members of the International Space Station's Expedition 18 crew.
reschedule the second relocation and be done with it. The International Space Station's Expedition 18 crew members are both veterans of missions to this orbiting outpost, and both are eager for a return engagement. For the commander, Air Force Colonel Mike Fink, trips to space have been on his mind literally as far back as he can remember. When I was two and three years old, I remember watching people walk on the moon. And that was enough to inspire me so that for my entire